So, uh, I'd like to present the game uh, I've been working on for months. Uh, my name is Raphael, and this is Alexandre. I'm a programmer and he's a community manager. We're working in Paris, in, uh, in the CRI. So, uh, maybe you were already there when uh, Jesse was presenting Redwire. So, we work together on different projects. And the CRI is uh, the lab whose activities are centered around uh, education, science, and games also. The part is about games. So, what we wanted to do with this game, uh, it was to do open science using an open source game about an open catalog on biology. All right. So, if you want to tweet during uh, the presentation, you can ask questions and we'll see later. Or you can interrupt me if you want. All right. So, do you know what synthetic biology is? Who knows about synthetic biology here? Nobody? Okay, the actual figure is 86% of people don't know what this is. And it's kind of weird because in the last 10 years and in the future, uh, it has seen uh, like a tenfold increase you know, in the money that can be made of it. So it can be in different fields, so medicine, agronomy, etc. And what is synthetic biology actually? It's, uh, uh, it's to modify organism to uh, fulfill a certain function using uh, biobricks. So biobricks are really at the center of this technology. Biobricks are standardized sequences of DNA. So DNA is a sequence of, of base pair. So it's just information, actually. It's, uh, it's information. So um, you can code DNA and then print it in some companies to, uh, to create really uh, the organism you have designed. So, um, so yeah, uh, the biobricks are all in the registry of standard biological parts. So I can show you a page of this uh, registry. So it's a catalog of biobricks. You have tons of categories of different biobricks that have different functions. And what is interesting is that you can take any brick and put it in any organism. It will work because uh, DNA is kind of universal language in every organism. So. What we wanted to do in the game was to, uh, to link DNA with abilities. So uh, the central character is a bacterium, uh, and this bacterium, uh, you put genetic devices in it. A genetic device is defined as a sequence of biobricks. So this is a genetic device with four biobricks in this case. So um, in this case, uh, I've put a gene uh, that makes uh, bacterium green fluorescence, green, green fluorescence protein. And as you can see, it's divided in, in four categories. The first part of the device says when the device is active. So it can be all the time, it can be when a precise molecule is here, or when a precise molecule is not here. So this is the if part. This is the end if part. And this is a quantifier. So should that produce a lot of JFP? or just a bit. And this is the what part. So uh, what should I produce? GFP or something else? All right. So, so um, <coughs> there is a simulator in the game. It's not just that you equip a device with these uh, very pretty breaks, like if, uh, how much, what, uh, and if. Uh, it's, it's really uh, simulated. You put a device, it creates a protein, then protein interacts with some reactions that maybe you don't know about. And then, finally, you have the ability. So you have these complex uh, reactions that I cannot explain because I'm a programmer, I'm not a biologist. So it's very complex. I don't know what allosteric reactions are. But I know that there are molecules going inside, outside, reacting. There are enzymes that are uh, inactivating molecules. Then I compute the concentration of each molecule. And then it gives the ability. So I produce JFP, but maybe somewhere there's a reaction that destroys JFP. I don't know. I just put device, it computes, and then and then I have the ability. So now it's demo time. All right. So uh, okay, the game is not running. Oh yeah, it is. No, we can't see it. All right. Just a sec. Need to move to the different screen. Ah, maybe I just open it again and to be okay. All right. It's just a different screen, so. Ah. Basically. Okay. All right. So it's not cloning. So how should I? 
Switch to clone? Uh, how do I do that? I have no idea. Go to settings. Down my settings? Okay, settings. Here. What should I do? I have no idea actually. Gather windows. Gather windows? Drop the window on the screen. Yeah, you can yeah, just drop it just on the left or on the right. Arrangement. Now go on arrangement. Something like this. In the left one? In the left one? Yeah. yeah there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> on the top arrangement? Yeah. And mirror displays. Down, 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 down. Yeah. There. Mm. All right. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Everything's okay. Now you just need to set both to 1024. It was done. Ah, oh, come on. I love Max. That's <laughs> <laughs> a proof of concept. <laughs> okay. Start again. <laughs> Right. Okay. Play. Blah, blah. Yeah. So it's it's done using Unity because it's cross-platform. Okay. So uh, Alexandre will uh, demonstrate the game, and I'll comment what he will be doing. So this is just a presentation with a bad guy who you are, etc. So it's a video game. So it's a story. It's plot-driven. Okay. So uh, here is your bacterium. So you're swimming around. There are some. Uh, a kind of complex universe. So this is red, it's toxic. So Alexandre, please don't go in there, we don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> just, just pick up the, no, go up, Ooh. pick the DNA uh, stuff. Okay, so you found the first genetic device. So this is the first part of the game. You just find something and you equip it. So Alexandre will equip it, so there is a complex uh, description of it. Okay, so now I have two flagella, I go faster. So now I can go around. What's uh, the magenta? What the what? Magenta color. Purple? Yours. Here it's DNA, the DNA uh, of the bacterium. Here, right? Ah, this? DNA. Yeah, it's DNA. In later version of the game, we plan to have a, a real zoom that goes into the DNA and you can put stuff and a real like a mechanic. <laughs> Rip, repeated this. Please cheat and go faster. <laughs> Which button? C'est quoi pour le cheat déjà? P. P. Oops. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're very good. All right. So <laughs> here is a scientific part of the game. So there, there is a, a depiction of the chemicals that are inside your, your bacterium. So FLHDC is a is a protein that uh, um, uh, that enables the creation of new flagella. So he has a small amount of it. So he just has two two flagella. All right. Oops. I'll just go through it. Oops. Oops. Uh, nobody Oops. will. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go through it fast. Quick. Oops. <laughs> okay. So we we tried to make something artificial. You know, it's uh it's not realistic at all <coughs> because we didn't want to have ethical problems. We don't want to have a a shell coli going inside the human human body because it's a very dangerous very dangerous bacteria and it causes infections. All right. So now he found a bio break. So a bio break is it's not a device. So he cannot equip it. He has to do something with it. So it's uh, the core of the game is that you can craft, you can take bio breaks and assemble your device. So you go through this, you you pick the the breaks, okay? So this promoter, so if, then uh, quantifier, so it will take the, the best one to have big production. FLHDC, so it's flagella producer, okay? And then end it, right? Now craft, no, no, yes. Then equip, right? And now you can equip the new one. No, lower, lower, yes, here, and then unequip the other, oh, all right. And now we have three flagella, so it's very fast. <laughs> okay, so uh, these are the, the main, main features of the game. So uh, as you have seen, you pick up a device, you can craft a device. There are other steps later that I will explain. So just, uh, I want to, uh, to describe what we've done. Technically, we, we have been using Unity, uh, as you saw earlier. Uh, we've been using GitHub a lot, so we are using free and or open source solutions. Um, all right, so now the, the demonstration is finished, I guess. <laughs> oh, you yeah. want to play still? Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, just a bit. You want, you want to, to show the bad guy. Okay, so sometimes you have a bad guy here, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, in this case, if you don't have equipped the device that gives you three flagella, you'll die. So it's compulsory to use science. You cannot just move around and uh, say, oh, science is cool, I'm just killing bad guys, etc. You have to use it. All right? <laughs> uh, I can also explain what you've seen on the top left side of, of the screen. Uh, is a list of devices that are equipped with uh, an overview of each bio-rig that constitute it. And now, yeah, we enter in a, in a very interesting part. Okay, so here you're blocked, there's a door, blue stuff you don't understand. Okay, what's going on? Hmm. So you explore a bit, but Alexandre knows exactly where to go. Alright, ah, oh, some rocks that move. Strange. Oh, DNA strand, okay. What is this? So, um, as you see, it's, it's not finished. There should be more feedback, so we're working on this. So now he has found a green fluorescence device. So green fluorescence works this way. When, you're, when there is a blue light, you turn green. It's not me, it's science. Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, so now, as you see, I have GFP and a high rate of FLHTC. So we've put doors like this that, uh, that make it compulsory to use, to use devices this way. Okay. And then, okay, tons, tons of guess, gameplay, go up, no, okay. So this is just a, a kind of teaser, later we'll have red fluorescence. <laughs> <laughs> right, so uh, here is a basic gameplay, you know, to, uh, to make it immersive. So that's uh, your, you, you want to see, uh, you want to, uh, to play. And actually we've made a test of this game uh, in France in an exhibition near Paris. And um, lots of children did not know anything about DNA. I told them DNA and they were like, I don't know, I'm sorry. But they were really interested in making the, just the bacteria move and see that they could change the phenotype of the bacterium. So add new flagella to make it faster to move, etc. And part of the th success of this game is that um, the artist made a really awesome job uh, to make it really um, immersive and nice to play. So you really want to play this game. Right, so now, Alexandre, can you cheat to finish the game very quick? I'm almost there. Okay, I'm almost there. <laughs> almost. All right, so just, no, okay. Up, down, oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> Please don't die at this stage of the game. <laughs> Please don't. All right. C'est quoi le cheat déjà? No, so <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Oops. What's going on? Okay, oh yeah. Here. It's a very oh, interesting yeah, sure. point. <laughs> He's That's true. using too much energy because he has two devices. Uh, it's not free to add devices in, into a bacterium because uh, the more devices you have, the more energy it costs. Because there is a um, cell machinery be behind this. So if you move, if you're red fluorescent, and if you have tons of flagella, it's, it consumes a lot of energy. Okay, we'll stop here because we don't have time. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> So, okay, now I'll just give a very quick explanations about what you've seen. So you've seen the first gameplay loop, that is the easy part. So you pick up the device, you, you equip it into the, the bacterium, then you're, you're green, okay, it's easy. It's, it's like you find a sword, you equip it, you, you, kill, you kill guys. Okay, uh, next step is medium, so you craft it. So you find the sword, you find a special emerald, you put the emerald on the sword and then it's magic, you have plus two attack. Okay, so it's like this. So here I, I could replace JFP by RFP and it would work instantly. And then the hard part, so it's the interesting part. This is science. So we want to create very complex systems. So, so uh, as I told you, there is an if here, uh, an if here. So if you produce a protein here that, that is uh, inhibiting this and this inhibits this, you have a switch. So if there is an amount of tet R here, then this will be inhibited and this will be active. And this will create RFP, so your bacteria will be red. But if there is like I, then it will, you will be uh, protected. So this is another function. Uh, it protects you from toxin. So according to what's in the environment, there is a switch and you are either red or either protecting, protected from toxins. All right, and we can do tons of stuff like this as oscillators. You, have, you can have a bacterium that blinks 
green or blinks, blinks red or alternatively red and, and green. You can do tons of stuff. Right, so my conclusion. Uh, the results, we won a competition in Paris about, uh, about science, so it was international game for education and research. So here we had Bain Design Award because it was nice, the audience choice because tons of kids were playing with it. All right. And what are our prospects? Uh, what you saw was just a proof of concept, a demo. So uh, does it work or not? Is it interesting? Is it immersive? Do people understand what's going on? We want to polish it and make tests with students and other kids. We want to, to see what they, they want more. And on the long haul, we have tons of projects. We want to do crowdsourcing. So like Foldit, we want to solve real problems of science using this. Maybe in collaboration with biohackers in Paris, we have contacts with La Payas, which is a, a lab of biohackers in Paris. We want to do multiplayer to make some fights. So you would equip some devices, counter devices, counter counter devices, and so on. We want to collaborate with real labs. We want to make a simulation tool. So that's when you have done a good simulation, you can print your bacteria, as I said uh, earlier, and have your bacteria that does <coughs> the real stuff. Uh, we want, yeah, so it's real lab experiments. And we want to, to make it a learning tool for MOOCs, because where I work, it's a lab, but it's also um, an institution where uh, there are some licensed students and master students, so we could make people play instead of go to uh, courses, and that's awesome because they could learn just by playing. All right. So thank you, and please visit designbio.com, uh, tweet, ask us questions with uh, for this. Thank you. <laughs> questions? Some questions around? Yes. So uh, you can go to uh, designbio.com, you will have the GitHub address, GitHub Respiratory 3, you can just pull it and play with the game. Sorry, I can't hear. A nice game. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Very nice uh, design and so on. Um, I, I have a question. I'm a biologist. Um, so, um, do, you, do you have some biologists on board that yeah. are helping you with the. Yeah, the girl. Because, uh, you know what? The thing that I. Um, the girl here is uh, she's an engineer in uh, biology and she's interested in uh, synthetic biology. She wants to make it uh, special. She's working with us like every day. Okay. So, we're a team of three programmer, game designer, and uh, okay. girl scientist. Because <laughs> from your game, I didn't really understand if you really want to model all the processes as they are in, in, yeah. in biology, because they, are, they were like, you know, some. We don't do metabolic pathways or stuff like yes. this. We do uh, specifically centered around uh, uh, bio breaks and very basic stuff around this. We don't do uh, like, there is no energy matter to me. There is, but it's very basic. Uh, like, um, you gain uh, 15 ATP every second, that's all. Mm. There is no mm. complex. Okay. So why why the GSP does open does the move the rock? I don't know. Get why, why, why the GSP that open the rock or did yeah. they help to? What? It's like a gameplay mechanic to force people to have this. But we, we yeah, but to the GSP doesn't you know? Yeah, does, it doesn't. Yeah, so it's not that, magic. Yes, really. Yeah, yeah. So why? So because I I so do you plan to make it as real as possible, or it's, it's going to be more you know? It's, it will stay a bit a artificial. Artificial, yeah. But what we want to make about these rocks is that it's not a rock, it's a living cell that is afraid by light. But you know, like kind of uh, right. a little monster like in Nintendo games, you know, sometimes there are some ghosts that are afraid by light. So it would be the same, so it would be more, more understandable. Right. Because I, I agree that it's a rock that moves, it doesn't make sense. Okay, and the fact, because you always show that, <laughs> that 
but it does uh, eat well, it, it takes up, it takes up the, the DNA. Uh, but then you are talking about the different components, like you know, promoters, enhancers, you know, and so um, how this correlates to the DNA that it picks up. I mean, in the sense, when, when you when you had the possibility, well, maybe I didn't understand that from your talk. When you had the possibility to engineer yourself, uh, or on the crafting part, yeah. that's the only part where you can engineer by yourself. You yeah, but when you take, yeah, when you pick up the DNA, yeah. you just what, what you pick up? You pick up um, a sequence of bio breaks. You pick like four bio breaks, and then oh, so, so, so each DNA is like actually the bio yeah. brick that you yeah. pick up. Oh, okay, yeah. and then you can yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can cut it up and make oh. a new device out of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Does it make sense? Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess I'm, you know, there are a lot of implicit stuff. Like, yeah. for instance, if you pick up a device, you can make a copy of it. You can make ten copy of it. And it does, there is no energy cost on this, yeah. so um, it's, yeah, it's not completely realistic. Mm. Okay. Uh, but, but we intend to make it more explicit and uh, make it possible. Would you need any help with that, or um, you are? If if you want to, uh, yeah, you can. <laughs> You can write us on Twitter and uh, okay. we'll be in contact, yes. All right, okay. Because that's, you yeah, know, that's a, you know, If you have ideas nice to, to, uh, to um, vulgarize it, yes. It would be, uh, okay. be nice. Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you. second, could you play then? Euh, une, 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 elle travaille pour elle-même, qui veut faire du monde. Et euh, c'est une, voilà, une indépendante, une graphiste qui a fait ça. Et euh, ah ouais, la Paris. Et on va se faire du raid parce qu'il y a une indépendante. Merci beaucoup. <rire> Moet ik nog iets doen? Nou, ga je moeten werken. Nee, zo moet ik niet doen. Uh, I Do you have to hit a plan? Yeah, I just change it again. Uh, absolute. I don't know why I I'm sorry. Mm. Okay, now I can just unify. Yeah. Just take your time, I don't have much to say. <laughs> May I? <laughs> Give me a waiter space. I've never understood x ray -inner. It's easy. Maybe someone wants to... What are you trying to Page up. Yeah. Well, I'm standing back there. Yeah, you, you can't. I see. I need to see what was written there. Right. VGA0, okay. Yeah. Do you want to assist me and um, yeah. lay a little west up for me? Right oh, you had some, uh, some examples how it's working. <laughs> you have your own minion to play best not for you. <laughs> Should have scripted best not. I'll put VGA not found. Hmm? No, not found. Do you have to activate it with some kind of button or something? Um, you know sometimes there's these no. function keys you have to kind of... Oh, yeah. 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 What's happening now? I've had this happen to uh, when I tried to connect it to a defeat. Uh, Do you want to use my computer? What kind of presentation is it? Uh, there's no presentation on here, just Westnall. Oh. There is a screen. 
Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. But it's wrong resolution, I guess. Yeah. But if you start with a full screen, it's okay. Okay. Ah, now it's back here. Where's my mouse? Okay. Looks correct. Yeah. Ignore this one. No, don't. <laughs> Do you have a normal full shell for me? So, not in a... I just session? opened one. But not in a screen session, please. Yeah, I just opened a new shell, but it's... Ah. It, it's... Ah. It's doing strange stuff. X, R and R? Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. It, I'm typing in a different shell. Maybe typing in this one? We use my laptop. Ah, is it working? Mine will be working. Ah ja, tja. Lass, lass dir ruhig ein bisschen Kannst Zeit. du hab, kannst schon mal anfangen. Ich habe eh nicht viel zu sagen. Das ist mir egal. Okay. No. Hello. I'm Fabian from the Battle for Westnord project. And like in the morning, I don't have prepared much, so I need your help. 